Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hope you're doing well today. Thanks for stopping by. Hello, everybody. Hello, Zef Chan. Hello, Squidly Diddly. Thank you very much. I love this shirt. It shrunk a little bit in the wash. Like, it fits fine, but it's not as long. So I, I like to tuck it in, and it doesn't tuck in as well anymore. I shouldn't have put it in the dryer. That was silly of me. But it's okay. It still fits nice. I just, it tucks awkwardly. Um, me and a makeover challenge. <laughs> um, Lizzie Licious. Thank you very, very much for the 44-month resub. This fit is giving me 1950s Italian mechanic. If only I had, like, a little curl and my hair was, like, more gelled. And, like, flicked back. It doesn't look that good, but whatever. Um, hello, Rancher Lex. Hello, Anne. You look like you're in District 12, specifically in the Hunger Games movie where everything is tinted blue. Um, I don't know what district I would live in. I would, I kind of want to rewatch the Hunger Games movies. Um, cause like the first time, the first time I watched them like a year ago or so, you know, I was kind of like taken in everything like I kind of was just like I didn't get have a chance to like analyze the dialogue for like things that would be revealed later and like and stuff like that um I should read the books too you're from five okay I should read the books we still haven't seen songbirds and snakes Dallas and I I'd like to watch that soon um what else is going on with me today? Oh, well, I'll finish saying hello first. Hello, Jargon. Hello, Pickled Lennon. Hello, Richard Lex. Hello, Dallas. Hello, Flo. Hello, Danny. You look like Hedgehog. You look like Hedgehog. I need to put that on my soundboard now that we have it. Hello, Ferris Bear. Boople Snort. Hello. I think this, this shirt looks so good with my, my cutoff. My Tobias Funke cutoffs. If only I had a hairier chest, I would cosplay him for Halloween just to make Mel laugh and nobody else. Um, David would laugh. Um, uh, Baby Tortuga, hello. Travi, Rancher Lex, Cinnamoons, fan of, of Hassan's left pit. Topher, hello, 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 Mel, hello, Bubble Snore. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Um, today, took soda to the vet. He got his vaccines, his updated vaccines. Um, they were very nice. It was $425. So, if you'd, if you'd like to gift a sub or two, that would certainly help. <laughs> I was able to pay for it because I, you know, have money set aside and Dallas and I split it, but... Puppy stuff is no fucking joke, dude. And then he has his, his, he's getting his balls cut off in three weeks. So that'll be expensive as well. Woohoo! Yahoo! Woo! Yahoo! Yippee! So, yeah. Oh well. Point is, he's healthy and he's protected. Ruby needs to get her vaccines updated as well. She also needs her heartworm flea and stuff. Speaking of, hi, Ruby. I see you in the doorway. Come on in, little thing. Hi, Ruba. I love you. I love you so much. She's a buff-ass dog, dude. She is beefy as hell. She's just like her daddies. But yeah, like, when I, like, when I'm petting Soda, he's so mushy. And, like, when I'm petting Ruby, I'm like, damn. This is a dense fucking dog. She's strong as hell. She is, like, 45 pounds of just fucking meat, dude. It's crazy. Um, 
some of you may have seen my tweet today. I was not sure if I was going to stream today because it always sneaks up on me every year. And I didn't remember this last night because um, I kind of never know what fucking day it is anymore. But today is August 2nd. Today would have been my mom's 60th birthday if she was still with us. Um, which, you know, it's tough. It's tough. I, I get like a little emo every year on her birthday, but, you know, 60 is a big birthday. We did it, I, like, you know, it, it's, it's like most of my family, thankfully, knock on wood, is still alive at 60 and, and higher. And I really wish uh, she was too, because I just have so much in my life that I'm very happy for and happy with. And I wish I could share that with her. And like, I go in and out of believing in heaven and an afterlife. So like, she could be watching, but she could not be, you know. But her energy is still out there because it's matter, you know. So like, she is the grass. She is the trees in the surrounding area, I guess. I don't really know. I don't really know how I feel. Um, but my whole family, my dad, my sister, my aunt... We're all drinking a cor at least one. My dad will probably have like seven, <laughs> but we're all having Coronas today and sitting by some body of water because my mom loved the beach and she loved Corona. So I have a Corona here today. Cheers. Um, my whole family is sending pictures of what they're doing today. My aunt is by the lake. My dad's in his new kitchen, which looks beautiful. Look at my dad's new kitchen. I wish I could show you my childhood kitchen. It's in some of my old YouTube videos. In my Yoshi's New Island video, you can see my kitchen. And it definitely needs some work. Um, but this is my dad's new kitchen. Ugh, like the blue subway tile backsplash. I'm gonna die. It's so, it's so fucking gorgeous. So gorgeous. But yeah, he didn't have a Corona today, so he's drinking a Sam Adams. Um, but my aunt sent a picture of her by the waterfront behind her house and I sent a picture <laughs> I said I'm live streaming today this is the closest I can get to the beach and it's Mario <laughs> on Isle Dovino with my corona so you know little little fun little laugh little key here here's a picture of my mom with my sister at the beach It's really crazy how much we look like. My mom looks like. I, I look like my mom. Do I have a picture? Yeah, I have, I have a picture of her. I have two. Ah! Whatever. So this is um, this is a picture of my mom and my grandma in the backyard. One of my fucking one of her many chemo had to shave her head. It's grown back. I always, Jamie Lee Curtis reminds me of my mom so much because my mom has always had that, always had that same kind of hairstyle for most of my childhood because she was always like having to grow it back, you know? I think she might've gone through chemo at least twice, maybe three times. I feel like maybe on the last time she was like, I'm not doing this. Cause when she died, she had a full head of hair and long hair. But um, yeah, this is my grandma who also passed away. She lived to be like 80 something, but this bitch, I don't, what, I don't know what the hell was in the water in Ireland, but she lived, she had diabetes, high blood pressure, breast cancer, I think she also had ovarian cancer, skin cancer, like eight fucking times. She fell downstairs at least once a week, um, and finally she passed away from leukemia, but like... And she was literally like four eight, <laughs> and maybe like maybe like five feet. But she was so freaking little, and oh my god, the attitude! She well has had such a little sassy ass mouth. We'd go to garage sales and stuff. She they were called tag sales in Connecticut, I guess. Um, but we'd go there, and she'd go up with like a chair, and she'd be like, "How much?" And they go a a dollar, and she'd be like, twenty five cents. And they would go, no. And then she'd put it down. She'd go, it's junk. <laughs> and walk away to their face. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> I don't know what's wrong with her today. Um, but yeah, so this is them watching me and my sister probably play in the backyard. And then this is a picture that my mom had taken at the mall, I guess, in the 80s. It's like a glam photo shoot. She looks gorgeous. Um, my stepmother used to scratch when she would get mad at me or like fight with my dad or she would feel particular, her narcissistic ego was slighted. She would scratch either my or my mom's face out of family photos. So unfortunately there is some scuff marks on this photo because she she used to take her keys and key out the phone, yeah. Um, anyway, that's a little uh, bit of the iceberg revealed today, but um, yeah, I should see about s scanning the original and then fixing it in Photoshop and reprinting it or something. But thankfully it's not too, too damaged. It's just got some scuff marks on it. But yeah, there are some, there are some photos that I really loved that they're ruined. They're completely ruined because she was, um, an eh, evil abuser. Um, but yeah, this is actually, so this is not the original picture. So the original picture is in this exact same frame. Um, but when I was moving, before, before I like was moving, I, I, um, I went to a thrift store in New York and, um, my mom's favorite singer of all time, Bruce Springsteen. I haven't listened to Bruce today cause I'm like, I don't really want to cry. Um, but love Bruce Springsteen and, um, Thunder Road was her favorite song. Um, but she, we had this picture in our house in this type of frame. So I went to a thrift store one time cause I was just like browsing and this exact frame, which is probably like a, a cheap, like dollar store frame. It was probably pretty common, but I found at the thrift store, this, this frame next to a pile of CDs. And on the top of the stack of CDs was a Bruce Springsteen album that had Thunder Road on it. So life kind of has mysterious little ways of sending you signs that you're on the right track. So I, um, photocopied the photo and put it in. So I have an exact replica of the picture that's at my dad's house. Cause I didn't want to take the original. Um, you know, he, he should have that too. But yeah, thankfully my dad's getting remarried in a month, middle of September. And his fiance is an incredible woman. She's so sweet. I love her. Shout out Tonka. Um, but I'm gonna go put these back. But yeah, very happy. She's great. Um, and yeah, I hope my stepmom dies slowly and painfully. Somehow that is uh, maybe a terminal illness or something. Something that'll really make her contemplate her actions and her her horrible life. But that's enough of that. <laughs> Woo! Cheers! I tried to chug the whole thing. I tried. Um, all right, Mario Sunshine, woohoo! I'll probably only have the one beer. I don't really feel like getting drunk today. Although it's a Friday. Friday, live it up. Um, um, okay, so last time in Mario Sunshine, I struggled for an hour and a half um, with this stupid Yoshi level that required me to get a durian and the game just would not give me a fucking durian. So we're gonna try again. Damn it. We're gonna try again. I, I was watching Big Brother clips with Dallas today. We've been keeping up with the season and I was like, unfortunately, I would have, I found out that you can't sing because of the live feeds. You're not allowed to sing because like people will sing copywritten songs, which would, I, that would be it for me. I would be out. Like I couldn't do that. I literally am all, Dallas is the same way. We're always fucking singing songs. So one, you can't sing, but also, um, 
I was like, I would be doomed because if I got into a fight, <laughs> if I got, I would be constantly saying if something bad was happening to me, I would constantly be saying I'm going to kill myself, which I don't think would fly. But then I, but then also, um, if I got into a fight with somebody in the house, it would be really hard for me to not say you should kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be really tough because me and my friends are always telling each other to kill each kill ourselves because <laughs> that's just the friend group we have because we've all you know dealt with our own thoughts and it's a way to take the power away of those thoughts and it's funny to us and I understand if it's not to you but it is to us. Um, but I was like, yeah, yeah, I, I'm cooked. If I go on Big Brother, I'm cooked. I I'd be evicted. I'd be disqualified. Do they allow alcohol in the Big Brother house? I don't know if I would let myself get drunk on TV. I barely like being drunk on stream. The fan base would love you. Dallas said the fan base would live for you, but then try to cancel you for it. And I was like, that sounds typical. I think I would do great on that show. Not in terms of the gameplay, because I'm very gullible and I'm not really good at like strategizing and social. But I think I would make great gifts and memes. Dallas also pointed out that when I'm like kind of gagged or like shocked by something or confused, I literally just go like this. Uh, involuntarily. Um, so he was like, the amount of fucking shots of you just like bug eyed because you're truly gagged at like drama in the house. It would be insane and hilarious. I was like, that's true. You would be the Kaylee for real. I wish I knew what that meant, but I'm going to be very glad that I don't. <sighs> this takes so fucking long. This is, I think, the worst level in the game. Because it takes fucking 10 years to even start the level. Because the game just doesn't fucking give you the fruit that you're required to use. I don't want this. Throw it away. I don't want this. No! He's handing me garbage. I don't want it. Stop letting him get them. Okay. Going to every time I go to the vet, thank God everything's okay with my dogs. But every time I've gone to that vet, they're on the phone with somebody bringing their dog in for like a fatal emergency. When we brought Ruby there the other day, um, this person brought their dog in. It had eaten a squeaker and was vomiting blood and they needed emergency surgery. Today when I went, somebody was calling because their dog had a puncture wound in its fucking ribs. Don't know why that is. Ugh, why is it this game so slippery, dude? This game is so fucking slippery. I feel like I'm constantly overshooting all of my jumps. He landed on the platform and then slipped off. You saw his fucking shadow over it. That's so annoying. They're evil for putting a fucking blue coin up there. 
Um, Yoshi dies from water in this game because um, he's actually like a figment of Paper Mario or uh, Shadow Mario's brush. He's 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 technically like a graffiti being, like all the enemies are. And all the enemies in this game like die to water and stuff. I'm surprised they didn't make Yoshi like look weird, like all the enemies do. But yeah, I believe that's the reason why Yoshi drowns in water. Cause like his coloring goes away too. Yoshi's an inkling, exactly. This is- this fucking giant apparatus in the way is so fucking annoying. That's a S-A-T-S word. Can you believe I know that? Yeah. I watched a video talking about how to prevent colon cancer on TikTok, and it's and it fell. Great, and it fucking fell. Um, and it did nothing but make me paranoid. It was like you need to be eating red meat, but if you eat more than this much red meat in a week, and it was based off of like weight. It actually does the opposite and increases your risk of colon cancer. And I was like, oh my god. I don't look on TikTok for that information. It just, it shows up on my For You page and I, it's hot in here. Hold on. It just shows up on my feed. I don't, I don't seek it out. I just go by everything in moderation if I die, well, GG, I guess. Yeah, like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna fucking do, you know? I don't smoke cigarettes. I drink almost, like, no. Oh, fuck you. I fucking hate this game. Ugh. I drink very rarely. I don't smoke cigarettes. I do my best to eat good food whenever I can. Like, I'm doing my fucking best. This shit fucking ass. Durian again, hooray. again.
like, why did he, like, why did he go that way? I, I don't... I was pointing in a completely different direction, dude. Whatever. Whatever. I got the blue coin. Trying, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get the other blue coin without Yoshi. So that way I don't have to try to get it. Later. It's so hard to get Mario to do that fucking spin jump. I don't know why. Now I don't have to worry about it. So let's fucking swim around. Durian, please. little noises are so fun. Okay. <sighs> like, why is it fucking pineapple like every goddamn time? This sucks, dude. It's like just awkward enough of a height that I can't just fucking hover up to it. Okay. 
Let's try again. Oh yeah, if if only the fruit spawned on the ground, like in the plaza. I'm not trusting that fucking platform. Do this one. I don't trust the other one. It was too high up. I was holding to move him in a different direction. I forgot to get the coconut. This is so fucking boring. jump off of make Mario fucking hover weird. How come you didn't finish Odyssey again? I did. Are you do you mean Galaxy? Um I I beat Galaxy. I completed Galaxy 2 like 100% almost, but Galaxy 1, I don't know. I think I just kind of got confused by like the different observatories or something. I really don't know. Also, like other games just kind of took my interest more. Move, you stupid bitch. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really remember. But I remember liking it when I played it as a kid. Uh, but yeah, I think it was just the the comet observatories or whatever where like the way the levels were divided I kind of just didn't know where I was supposed to go sometimes I don't know why he fucking jumped I, I don't think I pressed the button oh, I don't want to make that mistake again Eat it. Okay. 
That jump, like getting back on the platform is so evil. Like I can't even fucking see. God damn, dude. <laughs> oh my god. We're done. Woo! I can't. I can't be here. <laughs> I, I cannot do Rico Harbor again right now. Everything in this game feels like you're playing Jenga. Often, yes. That is true. I had no idea how I'm supposed to fucking get up, get to this level as a kid. I always had that glowing thing, but I thought that it was like, oh, I, I'm starting to get all the shine sprites I need. And that portal is starting to open. Like, I thought that was, like, oh, I'm, I'm, like, a third of the way there, and it'll get more powerful, and, like, a portal will open once I get all the shine sprites. I did not know you're supposed to just look up at the sun. And, like, maybe the NPCs tell you that, but it didn't, was not clear to me as a child. So I never knew Noki Bay even existed. The boss of Tricky Ruins. Hello. Mario, thanks for all your help earlier. That was truly spectacular. Would you mind being my new teacher? I mean, never mind. My grandpa's up ahead. He wants to tell you something. Hello, Grandpa. Excellent. Way to go, Master Mario. You have returned our waterfall to normal. Bravo. What's that? The ocean's still dirty? Strange. Looks like my theory was way off. That's okay. I think I've got a lead on the real cause. Now, this may not seem like much of a reward, but I'm going to reveal to you one of Noki Bay's deepest secrets. This crazy shit in the wall. This bay actually contains the tomb of the ancient Noki king. When you spray water on the wall paintings, a path usually opens. It's almost like magic, and one path leads to a hidden shine sprite. Honest, this is all true, maybe. I have very vivid memories of streaming this exact part of the game, like, four years ago. And we all had, like, a very, like, long, deep conversation about, like, how modern Mario has lost its charm. Like, this compared to Odyssey. Is there, like, a secret back here? How? What? Oh, no. Ooh. Let's see. I shouldn't be able to get all the way back here. Oh, it's killing me. <laughs> okay. 
I got stun locked. I guess I went out of bounds. The secret was death. Yeah, I, I don't know. I've never been back there. I thought maybe there was like a, a secret or something. Come back. I think that bird is a shine sprite. I don't think it comes back. Oh, it does. I can't believe I remembered that. But I feel like it's pretty obvious. If, if the blue ones give blue coins, the gold ones give shines. A shine sprite tattoo would be amazing. Maybe I'll design a Mario Sunshine tattoo. I need to work more on my walking wake one. I also, there was a, a tattoo artist in the neighborhood that had a soldier from Kingdom Hearts one, but I can't find their Instagram anymore. So I have to go through my phone and see if I screenshotted it. I think I did. I think I sent it to my Discord. So I could probably find their name. Um... I can always message this to you and be like, Hi, one of your artists had a flash of a Kingdom Hearts soldier. Can you ask around and tell me who who it was because like they would know what it is if it's on their flash most likely that mention of modern mario reminds me i should play bowser fury again i never played that actually was it good why did i say it kind of british <laughs> was it good was it crispy I liked it a lot. Yeah, I never played it. I don't really know why. I have the I have 3D World. Bro, 
Sora. There we go. Yippee! I had a big mustache hair in my mouth just now. Oh, fuck. Annoying. If I had money to throw around, I would get it. I enjoyed 3D World's challenging levels. I say enjoy, but I'm sure I blocked out my gamer rage from memory. <laughs> I remember there being some pretty tough ones. I remember being pissed off because I made it to the final final boss of 3D World, but I didn't have enough green stars to unlock it. And I was like, no. I'm not going back through the whole game just to get like 50 fucking collectibles. It annoyed me. Okay. So now what's down here? Nothing? Holy shit. You gotta be quick. I missed a blue coin. Why did he fucking wall kick? That's so annoying. Whatever, I was, I was out of water anyway. Hello, man, Dom, how you doing? At least I can get up this way. Ugh. Can you fucking hurry up and finish? Fuck. See, he did it again. Why did he fucking backflip, dude? I 
knew there was something. Go in 96. Thank you very much for the 49 months. Thank you, thank you. I think that came out a secret world and a super secret world in the shape of a crown. Yeah, 3D world goes on for fucking ever. It's a lot better game than I think people gave it credit for for a really long time. I think people were just kind of like a little burnt out on modern Mario and like really wanting something like Odyssey. Why is my game so fucking loud today? Why? Sorry. I'm like looking at the waveform in OBS and it's so fucking loud. It's so hot in here today too. For no fucking reason. <sighs> I did not mean to fucking fall there. <sighs> Whatever. Mario, like... He like the wall jump is not back and forth. He like I'm not I'm not pressing the analog stick. But he keeps like moving closer and closer to the outside and then like or like to the back wall. Trying to make sure I get all the blue coins and all the secrets. I'm gonna end up getting the fucking hundred coins just on this fucking level, not even trying. Really? Really? What the f What the fuck did he slip on? Got it. We've had so many flies because we can't, we still can't walk soda. He got his shots today, but he can't be walked for like two weeks. So we're trying to train him to not pee in the house and like pee somewhere outside. And we have like a AstroTurf on our balcony that we're like getting him to pee on. But when we open the door, flies come in because there's poop out there that sometimes we pick it up and sometimes we forget. But there's just a ton of like flies because we are above the dumpsters. <laughs> So flies just get into our apartment. We've had so many flies in our apartment and it's been driving me a little bit fucking crazy. Why is it so hot in here? Oh my God. The, air, the AC is set to 67 today. Maybe the shirt is just not that breathable. Maybe that's the problem. But I'm like sweating like crazy today. He just kept like wall jumping into the fucking hole.
Honestly, I might as well just try to do 100 coins. I'm already at 61. Because I'm going to probably have to do something similar to this. A, a second time, anyway. So I might as well do it now. So I can focus less on the coins. The next time I run through the level, you know. Like, I, see, I'm already at 80. Like, that's so crazy. Bunch of blue coins. Almost at 100. Really? Okay. Sick. Thank you, Mario. If I remember correctly, this bar... This part fucking sucks. Like, he, why did he jump at an angle like that? It's annoying. Oh, uh, whatever. I'm doing 100 coins, so. Fuck this. Ah! No, I'm not. <laughs> I forgot. The water's poison. Ha. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> The boat physics in this fucking suck.
Only four more coins required. Hello, Bite Size Beetles. Yes, we are no longer in the Yoshi Fruit world. I did beat it. So now I'm doing 100 coins on Noki Bay on this mission before I progress here. Because I'm already, I got so close just doing it anyway. I might as well just try to get the hundred. Loving the shirt. Thank you. Just one more. Where are we going? Okay. Can I even get up there? I feel like I can. There's gotta be a way. Yes, get stuck on the wall. Yes. Fuck yeah. Oh my god. It uh Mario. It's so fucking hot when you do that. When you get stuck on the wall and I can't move and I die. Uh, oh my god, I'm horny. Hi Lauren. Hello, hello. <laughs> Miss Miller. <laughs> Hello, Joshua. Okay, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. I'm not going to be able to fucking get the, sh the shine. I'm not going to be able to do it. After all that. Because the, the ropes that I need to walk across. Are not available. In this level. For some fucking reason. Which is really cool and, and great. C 
See? I need to be able to get up there, and I can't. Unless... I jump from that second level. But how do I get up there? I love this Tanuki guy. He's so cute. The 100 coin shines in this game always confuse me because I still don't know what level each area will even get you 100 coins. And then there's levels like this. Yeah. It's really evil. Like this kind of... This game has so many things in it that I'm like... These fuckers hate you. The developers fucking hate you. <laughs> they do not like that you're playing this game. It's so fucking sinister. Okay. Love Sonic Forces. Okay. This is so fucking stressful. Because you know that Mario's going to go, woo, woo, and he's going to fucking slip on his fucking stomach. It really needs to be talked about how people making 3D platformers in the early 2000s just hated people playing them. Scooby-Doo, Night of 100 Frights, case in point. Ugh, to fucking add insult to injury, there's this fucking thing. This <laughs> is so... Absolutely vile. I know, it's slowed down. Evil. Whew. Okay, I don't have to do 100 coins anymore for this level. Fuck the coins. I literally don't give a fucking ass about this shit. Alright. Ugh, I have some Noki in the freezer. I should make that this week. This and some laxatives. <laughs> Fitness Instagram girlies be like... It really is alarming how so many of these fucking people really are, like, selling laxatives. Maybe not as much anymore, but that was definitely a thing in, like, the late 2010s. 
was like all like fit tummy tea and shit. And it's just laxatives. Designed to like make you skinny. It's annoying that like you have to be a certain distance from the wall for the spraying to count too. Would you rather never poop again or never pee again? No adverse health effects. Never pee. Because I drink a lot of water, so I have to pee all the time. When I drink alcohol, bitch, I'm peeing every five seconds. It's why I don't pee. I don't really like to go pee. I don't really like to drink at a bar where it's like the bathroom. I can tell the line's going to be really long. Or like at a concert or something. Or like at a movie. I don't like it. So I'd love to never have to pee ever again. Pooping, I poop like once a day. Like, it's fine. And it's very therapeutic. Cool camera. No, that's so cool. That it just did that on its own. That's so sick, dude. Ugh, that turns me on. I love pooping after a coffee where it's so easy and I feel lighter. <laughs> I made pasta the other day where I made, I, I kind of made like a pesto sauce. Um, but in it, I, before I did it, I boiled cabbage and kale. And then once they were boiled, I chopped, I, I put them in the blender and pureed it. And then I boiled the pasta in the water that boiled the kale, the, the spinach and the onions. It was very good. My poops, Dallas, has had adverse effects. Me, my poops have been the best they've ever been because of all that fiber and healthy greens. But Dallas, I think it upset his stomach. He's been like sick for like a few days. But it was so yummy. And I added like cheat. What did I, what, like it's truly, I feel like there's like invisible fucking ledges. Like what do I keep getting fucking stuck on? I'm very honored to be in the presence of so many Locals. <laughs> oh. Wall jump, you stupid bitch. Okay. That is so insane that this is up here. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Okay, Bubbles Cavanaugh, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. Hello, locals. The button prompts are wrong. Flood was like, press Y. Pressing Y does not do what he says in this game. It's B. And it's annoying because the B button is also the slide button. 
Why does that with the camera? shoot my fucking sludge. Great. Is there any coins in the tree up here? Yes. Okay. Goodbye. See you later. Hello, Oscar. any blue shells in here before I have to fucking leave and never return or blue blue coins I mean okay need to have my libs pulled off like that <laughs> watch out Kamala she's coming for the libs Fantastic. What a wonderful fucking life that I live. Okay. Are you from the USA? I am. I'm originally from New York. But I have... I moved to Florida, and then now I live in California. What's in that pipe? Did I do this level over here? I have no recollection. <laughs> Missing Florida every day. Yeah, I did this. Yippee! Born and raised in New York City. Amazing. I'm from the Bronx originally. I got that one. Oh yeah, I haven't gotten into this yet. I probably need Yoshi for this. And I like eat this window. That's my theory. So let me go get him. What does he need? Pear. Got it. 
Come here. Ooh, you're right, it could be a Chuckster. That's technically backseating, Your Honor, but I'll I'll allow it. Yeah, I think it might be a Chuckster who throws me into the window. I'm a Chuckster. Hello. Hi, Yoshi. God, he's so cute. Oh, I see him. He's on the fucking roof. I fucking see him. <laughs> Stupid man. Hello, sir. What the fuck? Oh, I thought it was a blue coin. Okay. Hello. Howdy, throw me a coin, I'll throw you for a loop. Away you go. That's so crazy. <laughs> I'll just throw you around. Love him. My alarm went off and so does ear. He's so exhausted he didn't even budge. The poor baby. He's been through so much today. He got two shots. They gave him one of his vaccines through his nose. Bumping that. Um, and then he also had a fecal sample taken and they clipped his nails. So he had a lot going on today. But he was a very good boy. Very, very good boy at the, at the vet today. So does a brat. Absolutely. Once he's once I can tell he's at his full size, I want to buy him a lime green brat collar. But he's getting bigger every week. He's a full six and a half pounds now. So I'm holding out. I'm buying too many things for him. Serena Beach, the Manta Storm. Oh, God. Oh, Lordy. This level was so hard for me as a child. Oh, please tell me my nightmare's over. You can save me. I don't know why, but you just look very capable to me. Listen, it all started around noon. This giant manta-shaped thing showed up. It was paper thin, floating silhouette. It came and covered the hotel grounds in this electric goop. Then the horror of my beautiful hotel, my poor building. It sank in the middle of that awful ooze. Why me? Now, I've got the staff cleaning up, but where's my hotel? What am I supposed to do? I can't just sit back and... Ah, it's back. That gossamer ghoul do something. 
Yeah, Soda literally weighs himself all the time. There's a scale in the bathroom, and he's always walking on it and just standing on it. Jesus fucking. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, dude. Tree. Ugh. The lack of, like, invincibility frames causing you to constantly get, like, stun locked by stuff in this game is absolutely brutal. Yes, go into the water, but when my water hits you, you die. Yes. It's because it's pee, yeah. If I do, oh, 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 oh. flood shoots holy water, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather them all be after me, so I don't have to fucking track them down. We did it! Hooray! That was the best I've I've seen anyone do it. <laughs> you should watch more people do it. <laughs> I struggled with that so, like that literally, I never beat this level as a child.
quick little shout out to to the one and only Grace Randolph, movie reviewer and film critic extraordinaire. She has been fighting with transphobes and J.K. Rowling on Twitter for the last forty eight hours. You love to see someone, an ally, defending. Um, marginalized groups. There was one tweet that was like, what do you know about film? Or, or like, you're a film reviewer, Grace. What do you know about biology? And she was like, last time I checked, J.K. Rowling writes fantasy books. <laughs> and everyone's like, smoked them. <laughs> gagged. Gagged them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sir. It's Mario, right? Yeah, Mario. Listen, I have a feeling you could help me out again. See, the hotel, it's, well, full of ghosts. So, well, could you maybe look and come inside, please? I can tell you're a miracle worker. Don't be so modest. The booze in this game are so fucking weird looking. It's cause they were drawn by Bowser Jr. I believe that is the, the lore of it all. <laughs> okay, but like I know a few people with black mold in their house who are not transphobic. <laughs> yeah, Grace is, Grace always brings up the fact that she had mold and she had to completely move her entire apartment and like throw out all her stuff. Like it's like a recurring story on her channel. And she's like it's traumatizing. I'm like I believe it. Also, a little sad that when Charlie was hinting something coming this week, it was just a remix and not the whole album. Yeah. I agree. Hello, sir. At this rate, I'll never get back home. Can't you do something, please, Mario? So am I just supposed to kill every ghost? Is that... It said the secret of the hotel. So maybe it involves King Boo. Maybe I gotta go to the casino. Hello. I was looking at this weird opening at the top of the totem pole and suddenly ghosts came popping out. It really spooked me. Aha! It's a different level right now than what I was thinking about. Okay. Oh, brother.
god. Ah! Why, bro? Evil. I am playing the Switch remaster. Yeah, okay, cool. Got got stuck. Great. I am playing the Switch remaster. I'm playing with a GameCube controller because I have the Smash adapter thing. What the fuck? Why is there this whole like ice thing? Is there like an alternate star or something? this shape of thing. No! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> Evil Ed Sheeran. Okay, great. That is funny. I didn't mean to do that. God. 
These levels fucking suck. They're the worst fucking part of this game. Because the whole game, the movement in this game is like a little fucking off. And you need Flood to kind of help with like repositioning. So when you don't have him, you're just fucked. Like why, why did that platform act as a slope? out of nowhere and Mario just fucking you lose all control of him and he just fucking slides off like it makes me want to die He's just so slippery. It's so awful. Thank goodness David isn't here to call your gameplay interesting. I was so mad yesterday. At him and Anne. Like I was at, like I can really take a lot and I'm over it now. But I was like, why did I, why am I playing this for you? Fuck you, actually. <laughs> no, he's here. <laughs> Fuck you. I was mad. I was like, I'm over this. Wait, trauma bonded by David's sister. <laughs> There's tens of us. Tens. We get it. Jelly Scoot, sorry I'm late. I was mourning my glitter queen. <laughs> I feel ya. I feel ya. Welcome in. I was like, I'm not gonna like the outcome either way tonight. Also, unfortunately, I did start out thinking he was really hot, but I am starting to get a little bit turned off by Tucker. I like puzzles. I really like puzzles. Like that shit. Bruh, shut the fuck up. <sighs> Why? Why does it do that? It doesn't do it the whole time. Great. 
Does Mario like not? Does Mario move on like an axis in this game? Does he not move in like an? Does he? Does he have Pokemon X and Y movement? Or is it just my fucking controller? Does he move better? No, it's like the same shit. It's so hard to run diagonally in this fucking game. And they make you do it all the time. <laughs> I fucking died because I was reading the way Angela looks like my mom if I think of her from memory. That is fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I literally cannot believe she's still in the house. Like I, it, I, the edit really is making it seem like Angela is the like worst person ever, but clearly not bad enough. Not bad enough to uh, keep Lisa in the house. She's a meat shield for them. They're like, one of these days, I'll be saved because everyone will vote her over me. Which is why they're keeping her. Which is fascinating. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! Uh. He didn't jump. I pressed the button. I pressed the fucking button. My hands are fucking sweating today. What? Okay. Cool. Why did I think that would go differently for me? I need to go somewhere else. <laughs> I can't do this. Okay. Um, Noki Bay. Let's go there. Red coins in a bottle. Let's go.
he just like isn't going in the direction that I want him to. Okay. Let the go! Let the go! Okay. <laughs> God, this shit is so ass. This is so insanely horrible. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not even pressing any buttons half the time. Okay, okay. Thank you, fish. Where's the blue coin? Is there a blue coin in here? Maybe I'm wrong. David, is there a blue coin in this? I thought I saw one. Yes, the fish did help me get the coin. I don't think there's a blue coin in here. I'll go up higher and look. Feels like there would be though. No. Okay. This wasn't that hard. The controls were just really weird. You should become a Spider-Man streamer on TikTok. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Those two Spider-Men clapping each other's asses. Ely Mouth's Dentist. Okay, here we go. Oh, Mario, you're finally setting out for the ocean's bottom. Grandpa's waiting for you up... Top, don't forget to wear this. You can use this rope as a shortcut to reach Grandpa. Even though I feel like this boss fight sucks, like it's not fun to play, I love the idea. It's like only video games. It's like, yeah, you go underwater and you have a jetpack that shoots water and you ha and there's this giant eel and he and the reason why the water is being polluted is because he has a fucking tooth infection and he needs a root canal and you got to extract the teeth. Like, okay. <laughs> cool. The newly uncorked waterfall created a gap in the pollution that you can use as an entrance. Jump in right there. Dive into the bottom of the ocean and clean that eel's teeth. Do doing so will ease his pain. Return to once he came. No doubt about it. Now gather your courage and dive. Okay. 
Cool, 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 cool. I wanted that other blue coin. I feel like you should be able to climb like Genshin. <laughs> like Genshin. Not fucking Zelda. Genshin. You're cooked. You're so cooked. What the Sigma? Jimmy, I never played that game. <laughs> You just read about it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Zelda. That's right, you haven't played it still for some reason that I do not know. Because it is like eight years old. Is it? No, it's seven. It's seven years old. Okay. Whew. How many mini me? Other blue coins in this? I don't remember. I want to say yes. Mario. Hmm, I don't see any. Ugh. This is fucking gross. Ugh. Fucking rotten. Ugh. Ew. I know, I'm dying. That's like my fucking tooth right now, with a big hole in it. Thankfully it doesn't hurt. But... Can't afford to get it fixed just yet. Can you like hurry the fuck up, please?
Ugh. The gold one. It just looks rotten. There it is. Aw, the heart. She said thanks. Yeah, I don't think there's a blue coin in this arena. So I'm going to leave. Yahoo. Yahoo. Let's go. Il Piantissimo Surf Swim. Okay. The water's clear. Hooray! Amazing. I think I might have gotten all the blue coins here. I want to say I did. Because I don't see any on the cliff side that I haven't gotten. The rainbow. Foolish man, I am Il Piantissimo. Yes, that is me. And now I challenge you to race to that flag. Okay. It is a race to the finish. Best time is 40 seconds. Are you at the ready? Go. Okay. That was really fast. Hello, sir. I got the secret shine that was the bird. Your lay mustache is cool. Not even Coolio XD. 
<laughs> draws a mustache on my finger, puts it over my actual mustache. <laughs> All those bitches that got mustache tattoos here, you are fucked. You're so fucked. The shell's secret. I can't do the secrets. I hate the secrets. Oh, there's a, a shape down there. That's probably another blue coin. Please don't be hard. Please don't be hard. Please don't be hard. It was so annoying to get up here. <laughs> oh, no. This is the one I was remembering. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. Uh. He slipped on nothing, by the way. I just want to point that out. Like, he slipped on fucking nothing. I don't know why I was not pressing the D-pad or the analog stick, but he just kept jumping forward and I was doomed. I was doomed. That was a really good run though. I almost did it the entire way without dying. I gotta pee. I gotta pee so bad. <laughs>
Okay. Let's try this again. Patience, patience, patience. Patience sounds like it would be like the name of a girl in like the 30s. It's so, the wall jumping in this is so hard. So stupid. Of course I fucking did it amazingly that first run and now I'm gonna fuck it up eight fucking thousand times. Great. Fantastic. Yeah, why is he so jiggly? when he stops moving. It's so weird. It's because he's a pokey little flab biscuit, according to someone. I don't remember who fucking calls him that. Shadow Mario, maybe? I'm trying to be so careful. Okay. Oh yeah, it was Il Piantissimo who called him Pokey Little Flap Biscuit. Oh, that was hard. That was so hard. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> okay. I might get another beer. What's next? Hold it, Shadow Mario.
bra. Where did he go? The music's getting louder. Oh, he's right there. Are there no coins now? Before there was literally a million coins and now there are none. Fucking stupid game. It's so weird how it like changes what's available in the levels. Depending on the mission. They really did not know what to fucking do with this map after the fish level. Can you even hear that? <laughs> Why was that so quiet? Did you guys even hear it? Thank you so I'd much for playing my game. But at least, I'm alive. Rain on me. <laughs> Thank you, Mario, for the two dollars. Thank you so much for playing my game. I have text-to-speech on. I didn't turn it on. Streamlabs auto turned it on and it was funny so we kept it. But I don't like that it does it over the alert. I wonder if there's an, a setting to wait until the video's over to play it. Let me check right now. Maybe there is. My captions aren't on. Sorry y'all. Been forgetting lately. Alert box, I think. No, tips. Yeah. Um, text to speech enabled. Spam security. 
minimum amount to read. There's nothing that delays the text-to-speech until after the video plays. That's annoying. That's really stupid. English, British? Who's Emma, Brian, Amy, and Arthur? Let's do Arthur. What does that sound like? Thank you so much for I'm just gonna turn it off. Eggs, 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 eggs. It's too much. It talks over the video. Anyway, thank you, Mario. The red coin fish. I've been waiting for you, Mario. Grandpa's at the top as usual. Please wear this again, okay? You can use this rope as a shortcut to get to Grandpa. Okay. Let's go fucking get Grandpa. Okay. Hello, Grandpa. People have come back at last to show our things and prepare to find treasure for you. Lies on the ocean's floor. Please go there and claim it. Just remember to watch your life meter. Okay. I hate this man. Ugh. Barf. Fuck this. How cute that the Nokis are underwater, though. It's very beautiful. somewhere else there we go. oh I gotta chase it maybe no there it is it's gonna spread apart again though Land faster. Fuck you. 
I can't tell how close I am to it. Okay. Eight hundred hours fucking later. Yeah, he fifty shines. I don't remember if that was the last mission here. It was! Okay. We leave now. for me? I'd love for you to bring me some fruit. I'm craving some. Bananas, bring me three. Just bring the fruit here. Okay. <laughs> the fucking noise. Just drop it. There we go. I think these cute guys came back for Paper Mario. Um, yeah, the Piantas are in Thousand Year Door. Um, and they aren't, and they're also in Mario Baseball as playable characters. Um, but they're only in the background in certain Mario Kart levels. But there's Delfino Square. Um, in Mario Kart DS and Peach Beach. Bruh, what the fuck? Um, yeah, they're in the background of Peach Beach and Delfino Square on, uh, in Mario Kart Wii. I don't think they're visible in the DS version. And I'm trying to think where else they've been. The GameCube era is like the Wild West of creativity. It really is. Like, say what you want about this game. I certainly have in terms of like its controls and stuff, but there is nothing quite like it in terms of like the uniqueness and the memorability if there's one thing about sunshine she's fucking memorable all right mysterious boxes have been spotted near the fountain by delfino plaza oh okay Hello, ma'am. I'd love for you to bring me some fruit. Pineapples, bring me three. Okay. Was that 64 shade? More Mario um, Galaxy Odyssey. More, honestly, Odyssey the most. 
And I do think that that game does a lot of really cool things, but I just... I just don't think it's that iconic. And I'm probably just being a bit of a hater. And I accept that. I can't believe it, how well I'm doing with these pineapples. Where did it go? Where the fuck did the pineapple go? <laughs> it's just gone. A bird took it. Mm. Oh well. Did I not do the level in the lighthouse that you like? Clear the goo with Yoshi? Did I not do that? It's still there. Bruh, where do they keep fucking going? Where are they going? The first two didn't do this. Yeah, maybe I'm overshooting the shot. This one needs durians, I think. Hello, you want to work? I love you. Bring me some fruit. Durians, bring me three. Okay. I think I have to kick it across or something fucking insane. Did it go into the house? Yeah, it's gone. Fuck. <gasps> no, there it is. Okay.
Let's do number two. Holy crap. This is tedious, but I'm doing good. What the fuck? Okay. Oh my god. I almost trick shotted that one. It's like right there. Par three. One more. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Watch your fucking attitude. Really? Stop! Get off! Ugh, oh, god damn it. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, great. I'm just gonna start over. I don't know which one is the one that's gonna fucking despawn in a second. Okay. Woof. He he barking. Little soda. Oh, fuck off. This bitch is about to start blinking. Oh my god. No! Oh my god! This is fucking evil. <sighs> okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's go in here. Hello, sir. Break all the crates within 30 seconds. Win a prize. Great. Is that a world record? Is that a W? Even all the Mario parties on GameCube were distinct looking. Yes! Sorry. I get very focused on this game, and then I get very behind on chat. Yes. I agree. They all had a different kind of vibe. Honestly, like, really every Mario game in this era, like, had a uniqueness to its, like, UI and its theme. I got it. 
all positioned all wrong. Try again. Is it only two? If the layout is different, I'll do it again. But I think it's only two of these quests. <laughs> it's getting pretty bright on Isle Delfino, I'll tell you that. Okay, well, I'm not claiming that. Why would it be a different layout? Just if you wanted to keep trying to make it harder? Okay. I need rocket. I gotta get there. The bell. Unforgivable, I had it. Someone ruined my wall. What does M mean anyway? And have we met before? So annoying. <laughs> they should make a Mario Sunshine Power Wash simulator. I'm surprised no one's modded that game to have Mario Sunshine. That would be kind of fun. I w I've watched Dallas play that game before, but it kind of looks like it would stress me out trying to find, like, a, the last little speck that you need to clean on, like, a giant map. I think it would just make me tense. Yeah, because you're not tens playing this. <laughs> I'm not. I'm so relaxed.
What is this? There's a lady over here. Ugh. I forgot about this. I don't remember what she needs, though. It's probably pineapple. It's gotta be something I can carry. Hi. Coconuts. Oh. Okay, great. This is actually pretty easy. For some reason, I thought I was going to have to, like, carry a fruit across the boat. <laughs> Never call this game easy or it will hear you. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Jimmy, should Link be able to steal? He does. And he destroys pottery, too. He literally does steal all the time. <laughs> I did the pachinko level. I don't have to go back. I'm good. Yeah. Love, Link. <laughs> Mel, your parents back. Yeah, they arrived like an hour ago. Come over. I thought they would want to spend time together, but they are they seem drained. Come over. Hee 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 hee. Okay. Um, is there like a way? Map, yes. Okay. Eight in Rico Harbor, eight in Bianco Hills. Eight at Gelato Beach. One at Serena Beach. Eight at Noki Bay, plus the Mystery Star. Okay, that's what I haven't been able to find. The Mystery Stars at a lot of these places. So I gotta go find those. I think, unfortunately, some of them... Oh, I don't remember how to get there. Oh, I can just do this. Okay. Um... Oh my god, there's two mystery stars. Are you for fucking serious? I didn't know that. I think they're in the bonus levels. Oh my god. This is a hard game. Do the Piantas remind you of people in Florida? Honestly, no. The people in Florida... I mean, maybe if I lived in, like, Miami. But I lived in Jacksonville. Like, the like it, Jacksonville was mostly swamp. Like, there is beaches. Like, there is a beach side. But to me, when I think of Jacksonville, I think of, like, swamp and, like, toothless crackheads. Like, that's what I think of. Because it was all I fucking saw. I don't really think, like, tropical when I think of Jacksonville. <laughs> and why didn't you drain the swamp? Beep. 
Okay. Am I going to get my flood stolen again? No. This is what I had to do. Like, it is so much easier to do all this shit with Flood. Because you can, like, really position yourself more effectively. Secret one. Secret of the Dirty Lake. Skip, 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 skip. skip. We got it, we got it. <laughs> wow, Jacksonville. <laughs> <I know. laughs> there was someone recently that was from Jacksonville, Florida, I think. Or no, I think they were talking about Jacksonville on the podcast. I think Tana was the guest. And they were talking about going there or something for the show. I don't fucking know. I fucking hate that place. That is literally like... It's where your brain cells go to fucking die. Like, it, you will rot. You will decay. If your parents are moving to Jacksonville, say goodbye to them. <laughs> they will not be the same a month after living there. The cognitive decline that I could feel in my own brain from the age of 23 to 26... Do I? I don't fucking need that. That was a trick. That was scary. Fucking hell, dude. Run failed. I'm just gonna die.
really. Come back. It's not coming back. Why did I do that? All right, let's try again. <laughs> it did sound like Momo's theme song. <laughs> Soundboard sound effects where it's just the honk noise at the end of the death <laughs> Or the game over. Okay. Yoshi, what do you want? Banana. Got it. Did any of you call your grandparents Nana? I called my my mom's grand my mom's parents Nana and Grandpa. And then I called my dad's mom Grandma. His stepmom, who was more of a grandmother to us than my actual his actual mom. I called her by her first name. And then I called my dad's dad Poopa, which he hated. But after I came out as gay. He no longer hugged me. So I do not regret stopping calling him Poopa because fuck that. But yeah, he did not like being called Poopa. Nan is cute. Me Nan. I just clipped into that fucking window.
Oh, I guess I did it, right? There's just a blue coin in here. Why did the... Why did the, the thing pop back up, though? That's weird. So what was up with the monster mac and cheese just then? I know! There's a glitch where you you can walk under the earth if you do it right and you can skip an entire like really long awful section I'll have to watch a video for a refresher Yeah, I need to get Yoshi out to that island. But it's really fucking time consuming to do that. The normal way, at least. Okay, Bianco Hills is done now, I think. Yeah. Rico Harbor. Gelato Beach, Peanut Park, Noki Bay, I have one of two secrets. All right, let's go back to Rico Harbor. I love Yoshi. The first secret involves doing the blooper surfing and beating my time. And then the other one is doing the secret level again with Flood. Want to go for a ride, bud? Go ahead and jump on the blooper you like best. Show me some blooper surfing and win yourself a prize. Okay, so I think I have to do it in under a minute or something. fast enough. I think it's like 30 seconds, maybe, or something insane. Or maybe 40? I can't remember what the time I have to beat it. <laughs> Let's try again. Let's try again! I might need to take the purple one to get fast enough. So I'll try that one. Uh, 
I also haven't done 100 coins on this map either, which I'm dreading. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. My la blah. Great. I'm blah, blah, blah. I'm working on my law blog. That might be one of my favorite jokes in Arrested Development. Is the lawyer blah blah blah. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so fucking stupid. Bob blah blah. Blah blah. It's, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Bob blah blahs blah blah <laughs> blog. <laughs> Why should you go to jail for a crime someone else noticed? <laughs> La di da di da. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> On Bob's Burgers, uh, the main character is Bob Burgers. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> the way I spat my drink. <laughs> All right, fuck the purple one. <laughs> People watching Steven Universe <laughs> who are really horny for Amethyst. <laughs> Watch this not even be what I have to fucking do. But I think it is. But yeah, I think I have to beat 40 seconds. sharper turns. I think the green has the best handling.
Mel, I saw you said you wanted to watch a movie tonight. Do you have a movie in mind? This is a little slow. I think I'm gonna need to take the yellow. I'm like a second shy if I just make better choices. <laughs> Super size me. Rest in peace to that guy. He died. I can't watch that movie. He throws up so much. And I'm not even that squeamish, but it's just a lot. It's a lot of puking. I was doing so good on that one. I'm bombing. This is so bad. Will you kill me if I still want to watch I don't want to be as... Yeah, we can watch it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's watch it. I, I am fine with watching it. I've never been opposed to it. When you get back from your walk, if you're still planning on going on that, I'll end and then we'll watch it. right now it usually takes about 20 minutes okay cool I'm gonna make a snack or something I drank an energy drink like just now to be able to stay awake to watch the movie <laughs> That's the strategy. Jump over the wall. That's it. I figured it out. I can do it now. For some reason, I didn't think I'd be able to make the jump. So it is on the couch with Dallas. I'm surprised the two of them have not fucking run in here. Little brats. They're two little partners in crime. It's so freaking cute, but also really annoying. <laughs> I can do it. Ah. <laughs> I love his noises. Okay. Skip, 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 blah, blah, blah. Skip, skip, skip.
I need some Deltarune news. We'll probably get some this year on Halloween. I feel it. Even if it's a screenshot. Like, just something. I know it's, a f it's still a few years away. I still think that the game should release episodically. I don't think releasing all... Because, like... Look at how much fucking focus and fan art has been just on chapter two for the last like fucking a million years. Like, I feel like the episodic really gives you time to get to know all the characters that are a part of each chapter. Ugh, again. Annoying. So close. It's annoying that it sends you all the way back here every fucking time. I'm so close, though. Toby said some people got to play a test version of Chapter 4. Ooh. I would happily pay for every chapter. I would have paid for Chapter 1 and 2. I really would have. From the newsletter a couple days ago, chapters 3 and 4 are basically done, just with just the OST and a few visual touch-ups. It's the releasing part that's going to take some time. Localization, simultaneous releases with PC and console, a new game maker engine, etc. Damn. That makes sense, though. But that's really cool to know that there's two whole chapters pretty much done. Do we know how many there's going to be in total? I saw somebody say, like, eight, which I don't think is true. I think it's going to be, like, five. Seven? Holy fucking shit. That's so fun. I'm gonna be playing that game for a year. Thinking of all the fucking super bosses I'm gonna have to do. You scared the shit out of me. Oh my god! He jolts away and looks like. <laughs> and just looks at me like, why are you moving? All of Delta Room before GTA 6. I fucking hate that meme. I fucking hate those comments. ban him. Thought about it. Little man's behind me. Both of them are here. I'm turning my camera on full. Hi guys! Hi! Hi guys! Hi guys! Hello! Happy boy! Happy boy! Hi. You had a day, huh? Hi, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Hi, girly girl. Baby dogs. Hi, Ruby. Hello to you, too, Ruby. <laughs> They're fighting for my love. And now they're just fighting. <laughs> All right.
Are they getting along well? Yeah. They really are, like, very attached to each other. It's so cute. I'm really happy. They love playing. They're always just playing with each other. At night, they're very sweet. Sometimes they cuddle up next to each other, sometimes they don't, but... Most nights, they do. Ruby sleeps pretty close to us. And he's always up in my armpit. I fucking biff that shit. I'm so bored of this. This game has been trying me today. I'm so tired. Oh well. Thank you for watching today, everyone. I wasn't sure if I would stream, but I'm glad I did anyway. Tomorrow, probably Kingdom Hearts, I think. I think that will be the plan for tomorrow. I do want to try to do a Fortnite stream because now that I fixed my computer monitor and it runs at 165 FPS, bitch, the fucking Fortnite that I was doing the other day, I was elite. I should fucking enter tournaments. I feel like I took off my weighted shoes. It was crazy. Um... Who to raid? Who to raid? Who to raid? Fuck. I'm not raiding David. He's fucking playing this. Fuck that guy. I'm not doing that. What an asshole. What a fucking asshole. He's such a bitch. He's so mean. He's such a mean person. I'm getting sick of it, actually. Go over there. Just go. Just fucking watch him. I'm so annoyed. Goodbye.